Today, Laura and I are going to the local flea market to find a few extra supplies for John and Abby's wedding. Are you sure they want to fly off into the sunset? Because they could ride off into the sunset. <laughs> oh, there's two of them. <laughs> That's great. We're hoping to just find a few more dishes, possibly some baskets. Laura said not to get any more candles, so I'll try not to. Here, here are some white dishes, though. Oh. The bigger ones are what I'm really looking for. We are very pleased with the job that Jana and Laura have been doing with our wedding planning. They research a lot of things, and they come to us with ideas and let us make the final decision. Hey, this is a really cool old suitcase. There's a cool old suitcase over here, too. This There's probably a hundred in here. A little more rickety. But... It's been very important to do things on a budget for this wedding, as in anything for us. We really try to stick to a budget as much as possible. Jana is somebody who can stick to a budget, but she is somebody who can sometimes kind of fudge the budgets a little bit. What if we put this oh. on the baking table? <laughs> is that too mean? <laughs> My dad always says, check the price first before you look at the item. I'm kind of the opposite. I look at the or the item, and I'm like, oh, it's so cool, and then check the price, but then I'm already pretty much like, oh, I really want to get it, so, <sighs> yeah, it's hard. It's only 10 bucks. Or tw oh, sorry. 20, 20 bucks. Oh, my. She has to keep me under control or I'd buy half the store. And does this say it's 50% off? It's on sale, tags it. Even better. Half price. That's what you want. So when you guys are out shopping together, does one of you have to rein the other in? I can tend to be an impulse bargain hunter. So meaning I may not need it right now, but it's such a good deal that how can I pass it up? Because when am I ever going to find bar stools again for $7 each? This one's really cool, but it's $15. He's always like, I don't know if we need that. I'm always the more skeptical one about <laughs> buying stuff. She's like, we really, really, we do, really need do need it. We really do need it. So <laughs> she has to convince me on almost every item. <laughs> she likes shopping it's by herself. Pretty, <laughs> it's pretty intense. <laughs> We have 10 minutes left with our allotted time here. Yeah, I need to hurry up. He normally tells me, especially lately, Jed, you shouldn't buy that. You don't need that, you know, or something like this. And a lot of times I'll say it's a good shirt. He's like, Jed, you don't need that shirt. And then I'll buy it and I'll see him wear it the next week. It's, this was last week. <laughs> oh, now that's hilarious. Our <laughs> What is it? All of our books right there. There's like, Ten of them. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That is hilarious. <laughs> Let's see how much they're selling them for. <laughs> Eight, ten, seven dollars. They're ninety percent off. What? <laughs> oh, the books. Oh. <laughs> I tried to block them. <laughs> you look just like this girl. Oh my. That's it's embarrassing. <laughs> That's hilarious. Did you autograph you this never one? know what you're going to find. You should autograph it and just Are those leave it here. signed ones? I bet they are. I bet they might. Yeah, we're walking through and you see like 10 of your books sitting there. A little embarrassing. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> I think we're done for the day. Um, we found a lot of good things. We are going to go back to the house and just kind of take an inventory again. Um, and hopefully we've you know, found enough to fill in those just little spaces. Let's head out. Let's we got out. some good treasures. Yeah.